Hey, how you doing? Are you subscribed? I don't think you are. It doesn't say that on the um, on the picture right here. But hey, I'll tell you what else. You should subscribe because you can help me ruin my life by getting me to drink hot sauce if I get to 2,000 subscribers, which you should make me do. And um, I heard you guys like me like to watch me game. It's on this poll. I don't, I don't know. It's on this poll. So, I mean, might as well, you know, throw it in there. Twitch um, is twitch.tv, I mean, twitch.tv forward slash Lotus Abbey. And uh, yeah, uh, let's get to it. I'll play every game. And uh, hopefully you have fun watching any video that's about to play. So let's roll the clip. What's up, DS3 TV? Uh, yeah, so we're here for another video by Drew Dermiel. Uh, it was a pretty good video uh, last time you guys liked it, seemed to like it. So, yeah, let's get into it. This one is Russia is in Trouble. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. And, uh, yeah, um, I feel like this is going to be another good video from him. So, Let's get into it as you are always. Um, can the, you know, comment, <laughs> uh, whatever, uh, you know, be able to, you want me to react to, but yeah. Uh, play. I know a lot of you guys are already subscribed, but if for some reason you aren't, please consider hitting that red button. We are really close to a million. I can't believe a channel about geography, maps, countries, flags even got this big in the first place, or at least in the way that I cover them, as like, you know, I'm just a big dum-dum that talks about this stuff. I you're good, I would say you're not a dum-dum. You're, you, you're a good channel though, honestly. Like, this is something that was needed. I can, I honestly love this channel, uh, ever since it was put in my recommended, so. And I just assumed this day would probably never come. Why is you smile, Turk? You do know your currency is crap, but at least someone else is doing worse than me now. <laughs> Please rise again. Probably nobody happier than Turkey right now to get that attention off him. I'll That's true. <laughs> Turkey, I would say t Turkey was in a pretty bad spot too. Well, oh, Greece is out here saying this one. Isn't their economy kind of still struggling? Russia, the action over the past couple days are inex... Hey, I mean, you know, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about Russia. Don't, don't pay attention to it. Excusable. I will have to resort to even more extreme measures. I'm going to cancel you. Ah! <laughs> what are these? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh man, oh, you that's good, that's good. Yeah, this isn't just a normal cancellation on Twitter. Russia here is kind of being canceled from existence. Here's some context to one of my favorite country ball artists. Obviously, all the sanctions are really piling up, but I forget just how much. It's easy to, like, see the headlines and just stack it all on top of each other. Can have no fly zone. Sorry, don't want to get that involved. But without no fly zone, Russia do throw me in basement. I'd rather not do a no fly zone, but I can get you anything else you might want. If no get no fly zone i cancel you on bird app type 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 ah fine Boop. what in frick you do skip to the end it is she says skip to the end <laughs> in the conflict and in, in the conflict the conflict right there still so terrifying to me how many people do not understand the concept of ww3 like clearly there are so many millennials and gen z that do not remember the cold war and that is incredibly obvious right now hey russia why are you reading the geneva conventions is of to-do list they respond wait a second to do list uh that honestly i'm scared about how many of like the like the newer generations are just not gonna know like or didn't pay attention in history or anything and like and that's what I think like yeah just like nuclear bombs are gonna like go off that can't happen like <laughs> mutually assured destruction that's literally that's literally a thing they it's literally a signed document you literally cannot do that <laughs> unless you want everybody to bomb you <laughs> back <laughs> which means the world is going to end. 
explains the war crimes. Yeah, I want to buy rice. How much for a metric ton? Asks Russia to China. 1,000 kilograms. China, this is BS. Already know that one metric ton is 1,000 kilogram. No, you misunderstood. 1,000 kilogram of 5,000 ruble banknotes. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know what that sound was. Sometimes I'm shocked by the sounds that come out of my- I felt like that sound was like, it's kind of like the sound that would have came out of that cat. I don't know if you've seen that meme with just like the cat just, uh, that just looks like really, really depressed. I have it on my phone, but um, yeah, it reminds me of that, like that type of like energy voice in these videos. Wait, is this right? It's a little out of date, but one ruble equals less than a cent. But for context, at its peak in 2008, it was only four cents. Get oh, so it didn't go down that much. Well, <laughs> I'm trying, I mean, I guess, because I mean, it was only four cents. Uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess it did. Yeah. Back here, fascist, says communist China, as Taiwan has escaped off the mainland. Oh, now they're making a museum of all the things they've brought over here. No, give those back. Those are Chinese treasures, says who, as they respond across this little channel. Is that what this is called? Is this a channel? Oh, it's called the Taiwan Strait. What? Oh, I didn't know that. Crash. What be that? Whoosh. Crack. Federalist trash. Revisionist pigs. Still really want back? Asked Taiwan. Shut trap. So when the common Tang escaped the island of Taiwan in 1942, they took a lot of valuable historical artifacts and art pieces. But in mainland China during the Cultural Revolution, which is like in the 70s, a lot of people destroyed those very things. So in a way, if you think about it, Taiwan actually saved a lot of this stuff. Yeah, that is true. Um... I believe that was like Mao that wanted everything to be destroyed, which is so stupid. I don't understand why would you do that. Here are just a couple of the items that are located in Taipei, which are really pretty amazing, actually. Very old, very unique stuff. Oh. I mean, obviously it's old, it's in the museum, but you know what I'm saying. Not eco-friendly, the EU says looking at coal. Not safe as they look at nuclear power. Not democracy as they look at Russia. Switzerland now tapping them. Not alive. Oh, I see what you're saying. The EU's resistance to use some of these uh, energy sources is going to cause them to uh, not be alive. Kind of a ah. I can see that. Scary situation they're dealing with over there. I am here to join Song of Revision, says Mongolia. I sing. But, says Italy. Oh no, am I actually going to attempt a Mongolian throat sing? I do it. I will say, their, their throat singing is amazing, but honestly. Hee <laughs> ha. Give 12 points. Mongolia, you cannot into Eurovision. It's a rule. Sorry. Arriva Derchi. Nexty. Jerp. Mania? Wait, what? Why are they wearing this Mongolian mask? Are they also Mongolian throat singing? Oh, they're talking about this 1979 performance that Germany gave. That's amazing. That looks like something that should be a meme. <laughs> Why does someone sound like they have terminal cancer? China, what are you have done against? And was just listening to a traditional Mongolian music. He, he, he. Well, it do sound nice. This all reminds me of this metal band that has Mongolian throat singing vocals over like hard guitars. Keep it up, Ukraine. Us NATO into giving you backings. Whatever you need, we can give. Ukraine cannot into air superiority. Give no fly zone. Poland go to see what it into do. Uh, no. Are you dumb, Poland? We're not doing a no fly zone. Here's an idea. You still have some of those garbage tier jets. Why don't you give those to Ukraine? Uh, <laughs> yeah, why don't you? Why don't you just do it? Uh, I need those jets too, they respond. Well, Nonsense! Relax! Uncle Sam's got you covered. Falcons, lightnings, I've got them all. Okay, that is deal. I just sending these to Ramstein and... <laughs> no, 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 hang on a second. What? Poland no want Russia into bomb airport. Well, I ain't sending them from my air bases either. <laughs> yeah, I'm with America on that, Kurwa. So what do we do now? I know. Of pains, no mind, nothing to see here. Nine, nothing at all. Just abnormally tall clay heading to Z border. <laughs> Why am I at the bottom, says the USA. Oh, no. 
Oh yeah, because they're fat. Oh, uh, I'm assuming this comic is trying to address the difficulty in which country is going to actually hand it over to Ukraine, because that could be kind of a bad look. It can't just be super obvious that they're helping Ukraine in front of Russia. Rusland, your crimes against human hand will not be overlooked. We will judge and sentence you. Mighty Russia not care about bias, West. I have powerful friends that backing up me, like Republic of Congo, they're help- Yes, they are the most powerful ones to fight no-no Germans and no-no people all around the globe. Ah, by sheer coincidence, next case was over human right violations made door Russia mercenary go to Africa. Lies! Slander! Not happen, no proofs. Yeah, you don't have proofs of this one. Where are your proofs? Wait, 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 what is going on right here in car? Russia is not only in Mali, apparently according to this author. Pro-Russian protests rally in car? That is the craziest headline I've read in a long time. A hundred people gathered outside of the capital to support Russia. I guess Russia helped them out like a year ago and now they're just being supportive. And then he said to me, wait, what? Asks Germany. It's just a flag and the hat. It's just a hat. Come on now, Germany. Frank Reich stops exporting onion to Austria. Bonjour, Prussia. Uh, uh, Frank Reich? So I'm assuming this comic is referring to how France went back to kind of their old color blue, which is a very similar blue to when they were Napoleonic France, and uh, Germany did not have a good time during that whole thing. No, they did not. I mean, we... We, we covered it on this channel before. They did not have a good time. Period. Maybe Germany upping their military spending to 100 billion isn't just to stop Russia. Portugal! How dare you sell Japanese into slaves, says an old Japan. But you sold them. Shut up! <laughs> but you... Wait -o. Here. Hold this. Huh? Ah! Thud. Thud. This be chosen. He now slave. How much you pay? Really, says the Portuguese. So during the Sengoku period, which was like Japan's civil war time, I guess they sold off a lot of prisoners from battle. Apparently they sold a lot of Koreans as well. I mean, I knew the more recent horrible example of that, but apparently they were doing that in the 16th century as well. Oh, I'm dumb. This is... I mean, I didn't know that they did that in the Pacific as well as the West. I forgot how much like Portugal was like a very like vast empire is Korea. This is an old Korea. That's what this means. What an amazing explanation. This guy's good. Hello, Belarus on web to tell world Ukraine is evil. What? I forgot erasing of evil plan on board and I'm live. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. Well, this, uh, this is pranks. Welcome to pranks. <laughs> Yeah, and I think specifically Moldova was used here in this example because, well, they should probably start to worry if Ukraine happens to fall. I would assume that they should that they should be worrying at this point. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they should worry a lot. I guess this kind of already happens to Belarus. The leader here, um, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. But... Belarus is kind of a crazy country, though. I still follow the the um. The track, the track runner from uh, from Belarus that cannot go back because she uh, spoke out against uh, the that guy right there. That this this absolute um, unit of a human being right here, and yeah, um, yeah, Belarus is actually a pretty crazy country. I think we watched a video on um how like he kind of just messed up the country and uh like i was like really really like corrupt over there but okay ha puny weakling think you stand chance against great china we have strong military nuke of mass and many secret weapons with chinese characteristics what do you have what can you do asks to hong kong boop where'd the lights go i can make dim sun I'm so mad at myself <laughs> for laughing at that. Yeah, I knew it's actually spelled dim sum, and it's not exclusive to Hong Kong, but still pretty funny. I like me some dim sum, that's for sure. That's good. Frickin' Spain, you was into having all Peruvian silver, and now you want euros? Germany, listen, no. You was into being European. You was not into supposed to be in developed country. Make own money. I don't give any- I love how all of them have very bad English. This is amazing. If it is English, it just has very bad English. 
20 more euros to you. It's not too much unfair. Why does Spania have to deal with past mistake and nobody else? Frick, Naru. You was into having world largest guano reserve and now you want loans? Bar Barbados. Listen, I think just about everyone is having to answer for some past mistakes, that's for sure. And this guy was still able to make a pretty coherent comic about these four. Let's check out another country ball channel called Moldavia Ball Animations. The Russian invasion of Ukraine. Flag is the largest flag in Ukraine. This is kind of meta. This is a, a reaction of a reaction. We're getting kind of meta here, guys. Getting to the metaverse. This is very good. Very what good. do you think? The same is true of the Russian. We want to protect it. It is easy for everyone. Uh oh. What? Why did it bring you there again? Russia coming in. But what does say Russia? I we heard that too many times already. Uh oh. Is it's a standoff. Ooh, this is intense. He's work at Hedla Wedding Lines. Okay. We'll come to Moscow. Check out the... <laughs> uh oh, he's realizing that he has to... <laughs> he's been telling his plans of the people. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the Spongebob music! Ooh. Oof, that's terrible. Make it Russia invades Ukraine again. So sad. There it is. Glory to Ukraine. Here's finally a return to Planet Balls I Miss These Things by Renaissance Productions. This is the same format we've seen before, Good Dreams versus Bad Dreams. So the Earth likes to be united, apparently, but uh, in reality, their nightmares are reality. <laughs> All these countries separated and... Basically. Everyone's on fire. Ooh, let's check out the Moon's Good Dream versus their Bad. Oh, in 2022, yeah, every yeah, everybody wants a piece of the moon. When dividing up the moon, oh, it's only a matter of time. Probably not in 2022, but this decade. Mars versus their, yeah, and maybe, maybe in like two, 2070. It seems like there's a theme here. It's almost like humans are the problem. It almost seems like that, but as a good show once said, like maybe it is me who is the problem. No, it is the kids. So it is. It, it can't be us. I love that Mars is already terraformed by 2070. We can only hope. Let's see about Venus in 2022. Venus is a hot place. A lot of clouds. Venus in 20... In Wait, why? Wait, why are they going to be cold? Why is Venus going to be cold in like 2100 and 100 years? Because the UN made it over there? Is that because we terraformed it as well? I don't know how we are going to fix Venus. Venus has a lot of problems. Everything that I've heard about Venus. Mercury. I mean, Venus has like sulfur volcanoes, so I don't think yeah, that, that would be a, a hospitable place for us to live. Mercury right now versus Mercury in, yeah, getting eaten by the sun. Can't wait for Mercury. Yeah, Mercury's going to get eaten by the sun. I forgot about that. Um, what? How long did they say it was going to take? Mercury right now versus Mercury in... Yeah, so, yeah, 7.5 million years, yeah. Yeah, getting eaten by the sun. Can't wait for Mercury to get nom nom done. Pluto... Pluto was playing, was playing with all with all of his friends. Pluto in 1801 versus Pluto in 2006. You're not real, bro. <laughs> right, you're not a real planet. None of you are. <laughs> Dwarf planet. These are actually so good. Saturn in 2022. What possibly could happen to Saturn? Saturn one million years from now. Yeah, I forgot it does lose the yeah, it's gonna lose its rings. Is that true? Is a moon gonna hit Saturn? One of their own moons gonna fall I think I maybe I did read that. Jupiter in nineteen ninety nine versus Jupiter in seven seven point five billion years ago, years from now. Was that the sun eating all the rock planets and pretty much everything else? I think yeah, basically. Cause it, because Jupiter could be a sun if it had the right nuclear fusion, I believe. I did read that the uh, sun is going to become like a red giant, right? And then consume most of the inner solar system. And then it'll just be Jupiter and everyone outside of Jupiter. And then the sun, and this is when it blows up. Uh, oh, we get sucked into a black hole. Again, I hope that's not accurate dates. 2190? That is their nightmare, though. I can say that. I can see that. I mean, that definitely would be a nightmare for everybody. For everybody. 
chat. That was really cool to have some planet balls back again. I would do way more planet ball videos, but there's just not enough content on them. There's not enough comics being made about them. Definitely go check out this subreddit though and, you know, contribute if you can. And big <laughs> thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young. Okay, that was a good video. I liked it. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Talk to you guys next one. Uh, uh, sub subscribe and uh, also comment what videos you'll be reacting next. Um, so yeah, uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.